everyone. Today we're going to discuss the most tedious tasks when you go on a travel. And this is packing. So allow me to share with you some smart packing tips. Yeah. yeah. When traveling, it's easy to book a flight and reserve for a hotel or a hostel stay. But the most daunting part is packing, especially when you're planning for a long one. There's nothing worse than constantly feeling that you have forgotten something, but you don't know what it is. So here are some smart packing tips that you should remember. Let's start. We go to number one, wear your heaviest clothes on the plane. It's kind of common sense, but if you're taking heavy boots or sneakers, Wear them on the flight. Keep your jacket on the flight and not on your carry-on. Just those two things take so much space in your carry-on bag. Taking a sweater, wear it at the airport. It's cold there anyway. As I've said earlier, if you're taking multiple pairs of shoes, wear the ones that take so much space on your luggage. For example, I've discussed this earlier. If you're bringing sneakers and flip-flops, it's always better to wear your sneakers and pack your sandals. The same logic applies for your clothes. Wear the puffy jacket on the flight and layer your underneath clothes so you can strip it down when it gets warm. This will keep you from lugging around heavy things in your suitcase and save you room. We go to number two, roll your clothes and pack them first. Folding is out, rolling is in. Rolling your clothes before packing them in the suitcase reduces the amount of space your items will take up. Even better, pack your rolled clothes in reusable and compressible packing cubes, which I will discuss later. These handy travel bags squeeze out all the extra air, saving you even more space. It also spares your clothes from unsightly wrinkles and saves you the hassle of trying to find an iron to look presentable for your next destination. Now, if you don't have any packing cubes, as what I've said earlier, roll it. This is the best way to prevent creases and make most of your space. This is what you're gonna do. Lay tops face down, fold in the sleeves, and roll from bottom up. For pants, put the legs together and roll from waist down. Once you've rolled everything, place pants and tops in the suitcase before your shoes and accessories. Then you can fit now your oddly shaped items like hair dryers, etc. Also, instead of folding your underwear in the usual way, roll it over and place it under your bras to save space and maintain your cup's shape. We go to number three. Use shoes to maximize space. Sneakers and dress shoes are big items to travel with, but they're often necessary for backpacking and business trips. Utilize those wasted space inside your shoes by stuffing it with underwears and socks. This will save you a little space and help your shoes maintain its shape in your jam-packed bag. We go to number four, use packing cubes. Packing cubes are very handy and super convenient. They are small lightweight bags that help you compress, separate, and organize your items in your bag. For example, you want to take out your charger, then just grab your gadget cube so you don't have to mess up your other stuff. Packing cubes help you organize your things in your luggage, sorting by clothing type, color, or a range of other categories. This way, you don't have to dig through your clothes every day, wrinkling them in the process. Packing cubes also keep your clothes from touching the floor as you unpack. And they're great for storing your things in the drawer as you arrive. For easier reference, use different colored tubes for different types of clothes. Need your shirt? Grab the red cube. Need some shorts? Grab the pink cube. Need makeup? Grab the yellow cube. It's that easy. We go to number five, multi-purpose your items with you. A jacket can be used as a pillow while a thick scarf or a scarf can be used as a blanket. There are a lot of items that are multi-purpose, so think before you pack. Number six, bring a sarong. Whether you're a guy or a girl, sarongs have many uses, and they are a major must for travelers and backpackers. These take up very little space and serves a lot of purpose. A simple and lightweight sarong can be used as a blanket during a chilly flight or a bus ride. You can also use this as a towel when you're on the beach or a shawl to cover your shoulders when you visit a religious place. You'll find a lot of use for this in every trip. So bring one or better still, buy one when you're there and then keep it as a souvenir when you're back home. We go to number seven, keep your color in shape. This is one of the best packing hacks there is. If you're traveling for business or like to dress smart, place your belt inside your color to make it clean and stiff. 
aside from maintaining your shirt's integrity, it is also utilizing wasted space. Oh, by the way, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. Just click on the subscribe button, click the bell, click the all, so you will be notified every time I post a new video. We go to number eight, prepare for travel shopping. It's not a surprise to know that you'll come home with more stuff than you left with, especially when you're traveling with kids. Bring a foldable shopping bag and simply pull this out whenever you need it. And use this to pack all your souvenirs when you travel back home. You can fill this with anything that you buy from your travels. For me, for short trips, I always bring a foldable tote. However, for long trips, I always pack a small luggage bag. Then you can just check it in. We now go to number nine, pack a pillowcase from home. Nothing is more comforting than snuggling up with a soft, familiar pillow. Although obviously you cannot bring your favorite pillow in your international travels, you can bring your favorite pillowcase. And this pillowcase can also double as your laundry bag. Also, there are other times that housekeepers do not change the pillowcase in the hotel room or even in the hostel because it still looks clean. So better bring your pillowcase when you travel. We go to number 10, bring a portable luggage scale. It's really hard to figure out how much your luggage will weigh. So in order to avoid excessive baggage fees, invest in a portable luggage scale. It will give you peace of mind and will surely save you a lot of money. Number 11, have a ready-to-go health kit. When you're going on international adventures, there might be times that you might suffer from food poisoning, sudden fever, cuts and scrapes, terrible bug bites, and other ailments. And in the middle of the night, how will you find a pharmacy in a foreign country? The solution? Always pack your first aid medical kit. Just carry a small bag that is packed with the following. Skin rash cream, antiseptic cream, pain relievers, paracetamol, antihistamine for allergies, thermometer, painkillers, medicine for stomach trouble, cold and cough medicine, and antibiotics. Also, you have to bring band-aids, cotton buds, bandages, plasters, gauze pads, and cleansing wipes. Of course, you have to bring a small scissors. Also, don't forget to bring any personal prescriptions with you or ask your doctor to draft one ahead of time, especially if you think you're going to run out during your trip. So again, make sure to bring your ready-to-go first aid kit. We go to number 12, buy a universal adapter. Get a universal charging adapter rather than one suited only for the country that you're visiting. It saves money in the long run and gives you more travel flexibility, especially during airport layovers. This is perfect for people who use a lot of gadgets or if you're in a group. Now, no one has to fight for charging times and you can always have all your gadgets charged at all times. Number 13, use solids instead of liquids. There are a lot of companies that offer solid alternatives for shampoo, soap, or even perfumes. It will help you save you the trouble when you're going through security since liquids are always mistaken as dangerous substances. You're limited to under 100 ml per bottle anyway, so it's better to bring solids instead, especially when you're traveling for many days. But if you really can't find solid products in your area, you can use small sampler bottles that you get in department stores or the souvenirs in the hotels. You can refill them up with shampoo, conditioner, soap, and even lotion. Number 14, keep mask and hand sanitizer at hand. If you're traveling during pandemic, You'll want to pack essentials like extra face masks and hand sanitizers in your check-in and carry-on luggage so you're never without them. Keep them in an easy-to-access pocket so you can grab a fresh face mask, wipes, or sanitizers whenever you need it. Number 15, request for a fragile sticker. Ask a check-in counter attendant for a fragile sticker, even if you haven't got anything breakable in your suitcase. One. This will hopefully ensure that your baggage will be handled with care. And two, baggages marked fragile is typically taken off the plane first, which means you won't have to wait too long in the baggage claim area. The last, we now go to number 16. This is very simple. Bring a pen in your carry-on. Before, I always forget this, but this is very important. Always bring a pen when you travel. You'll need a pen to fill out departure and arrival cards on your flight, plus now, we also need to fill health cards. So please remember to always bring a pen. So there, I gave you 16 smart packing tips that you can use whenever you travel. 
there's still a lot of packing tips that I would like to share with you, and that will be on my future episodes. So that's it. Thank you very much for watching, and thank you for sharing your time with me. Again, maraming maraming salamat. Ingat kayo always, and stay safe. Bye! So just grab your gadget. Tube. Tube. Cube. Ah, packing cubes help. Cubes. <laughs> Need your pants? Grab the blue tube. Need makeup? Get the gray yeah, tube. Tube. Blue cube. Ah, cube. Not tube. Cube. I Need the shirt? <laughs> Need the shirt? Grab the cube. 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 <laughs> Face sanitizer, face Ask the check in counter for a fragile ticket. Ah, to keep it clean, clean, clean. To keep it clean and st stiff. Place your belt inside your collar to keep it clean and stiff. We go to number 13. Use salt. It's raining! Love.